I'm Jen Bryant. Welcome to my office here in southeastern Pennsylvania. This is where I do most of my work. I'm delighted that the right word is on the Texas Blue Bonnet list and I'm looking forward to answering the questions you guys sent to me. So let's get right to that. What made you think about writing a book about Peter Mark Roget? Well, once on a long car trip, I took a copy of the thesaurus by mistake. Uh, I really wanted to take a novel, but I hear this is all I had to read. And when I really looked at the thesaurus, I discovered that Roget had tried to put all the words for every single idea, thing, or action into a single book. And it made me start thinking about what kind of person would do that? That's such an ambitious project. And that started me on my research. Did you learn many new things about Peter Marc Roget, and if so, what fascinated you the most? Well, I learned he was shy, and he was also a little sad because his father died when he was young. Um, he moved around a lot. It was hard for him to make friends, so he really considered books his friends. Um, he also became a doctor when he was still a teenager. He invented a portable chess set, um, and he studied optics, which kind of helped develop movies. So he did a lot of fascinating things. What did you personally relate to most about Peter Marc Roget? I think the fact that he was very curious, as I am and always have been. He was shy as a child, and I was too, and he had a lot of collections. I still have a lot of my childhood collections. You've written many biographies. What do you like most about writing them? I love to research. For me, it's like a big adventure, a big scavenger hunt for facts. Um, I use the internet and books, but I also listen to tapes, I visit archives and museums, I look at old diaries and manuscripts. Uh, I find it fascinating. It's a lot of fun. Are there other topics that you prefer, fiction or nonfiction? Well, as a reader, no. I don't have any favorites. I, I read just about anything and everything. But as a writer, I tend to gravitate toward biographical subjects that are creative people. Um, writers, poets, painters, composers. Um, I find their lives fascinating. I find the people courageous and hardworking. What books from your childhood impacted you as the author you are today? Oh, in particular, the Black Stallion series by Walter Farley. This was a series of adventure novels, and I was a horse-crazy girl, so I devoured them. Couldn't wait for the next ones to come out. I also read a lot of nonfiction about horses, and I think my obsession with that subject gave me my current love of research. What advice would you give to young authors as they learn to improve their writing skills? First, read good books. Read good books that are on your blue bonnet list, the ones that are recommended by your librarians. They give you excellent examples for your own writing. And second, practice writing regularly, whether it's a journal or just a book of stories that you're writing. Practice, practice, just like you would for your playing your trumpet or playing soccer. Uh, writing is a skill. It requires a lot of time and patience, but eventually everyone can get good at writing. Thank you for your questions, and thank you, Texas, for putting the right word on the Texas Blue Bonnet list.